Okay. Welcome back again. Fire Life Safety Director. Master Class. Right now it's uh, Section 8. Your response in the event of a non-fire event or an EAP event. The uh, inspector is not going to ask you what are the 16 steps uh, that you perform during an EAP. doesn't work like that. In fact, the uh, inspector is going to say, let's see, he's going to say you're at work while performing your daily duties, in this case, in uh, extinguisher inspections. You learn from an office worker from the property management office and the occupant from the 10th floor that a biological agent was released inside the building in the office area on the 10th floor. As the fire life safety director, what, an what actions are you going to take from the very beginning of the situation to the very end? Let me repeat that again. While at work while performing your daily routine activities, in this case, fire extinguisher inspection on the third floor. You learn from a property management office worker and an occupant from the 10th floor that a biological agent was released inside the building in the office area on the 10th floor. As the fire life safety director, what actions would you take from the very beginning of the situation to the very end. Again, the inspector is gonna give you a blank piece of paper and ask you to write down an outline of your response. Your response should be something like this. Report to the fire command station. Unlike a fire situation, keep in mind there is no alarm on the fire command station or on the fire panel. So you're going to consult with your brigade members. That's the second thing you're going to do. Consult with the brigade members. Come to some kind of consensus as to how you're going to address this situation. But keep in mind, you are the boss. Call 911 to inform them of the situation. Three. Four. Implement total evacuation, partial evacuation, shelter in place, in building relocation, or some variation of the four. Let me say that again. The fourth thing you should do is implement. Total evacuation, partial evacuation, shelter in place, or in building relocation, or some combination of them. Five, inform 911 what actions you are going to take. Six, through the PA system, notify the building occupants what has happened, where it has happened, what part or what form of the total evacuation, partial evacuation, shelter in place or in building relocation procedure you are going to implement and why. Let them know. Number seven, assess the building's mechanical systems. Eight, Assess the exits and entrances. Nine, assess the operations of the elevators. 10, assess the air movement, the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, HVAC, HVAC system. 11, assess the windows 
and air movement. 12. Assess interior and exterior doors. 13. Assess the electrical, the steam, the natural gas. Make sure nothing is in is vulnerable. 14. Assess the fuel and associated piping and the associated systems. 15. Be mindful of monitoring the news, monitoring the radio, mon monitoring sources of information relative to the situation. And listen or be monitoring for a all clear provided by the authorities or the incident commander that the threat has passed. Thank you.